What's up, peers, and welcome to the recording of the BISC Decentralized Exchange Phase Zero Framework, a plan for bootstrapping the BISC DAO. Continuing with Part 2, the Phase Zero Plan. Phase Zero is an extended pre-release period of the BISC DAO, in which the BSQ token may be earned but not traded or spent, in which voting and other DAO operations comments in simplistic, high-trust systems and iterate towards production-ready, trust-minimized systems. Goal. As discussed throughout this document, the goal of the BISC DAO is to decentralize the funding and governance of the BISC project. The goal of the phase zero is to operationalize the BISC DAO while minimizing risk. Like most projects in the cryptocurrency ecosystem, the BISC DAO is an experiment. We have one shot to get it right enough to achieve viability and there is no need to rush. For these reasons, phase zero is designed conservatively introducing safeguards and approaching the implementation of each aspect of the DAO in an incremental fashion. How Phase Zero Mitigates Risk the, To address valuation risk, we eliminate the possibility of trading BSQ during Phase Zero. A fair market value of the token must still be established in order to compensate contributors. But this value can be estimated initially and then adjusted throughout phase zero. On completing, completion of phase zero, the value of BSQ will become entirely subject to market forces. But the fact that many contributors worked throughout phase zero at a given fair market value should provide a strong price foundation for BSQ than would be present if we were to simply enable trading from day one. To address control risk, we ensure that only those who have contributed value to the project are able to vote during phase zero. This too is result of prohibiting BSQ trading because the only way to, to acquire BSQ during phase zero is to earn it. It becomes impossible to simply purchase voting power. Furthermore, it gives us time during phase zero to design and implement a longer term solution for control risk in which we introduce a reputation factor into the BSQ based voting process. To add censorship risk, we systematically eliminate formal leadership roles during phase zero. We define the roles and responsibilities required to maintain and operate the BISC network. And we delegate those risks to contributors who have earned enough BSQ to bomb them. We make it an explicit exit criteria of phase zero that no one contributor is responsible for more than three of these roles. And we ultimately relegate the role of founder to an historic one. While this approach does not eliminate the possibility of individual contributors being censored, it minimizes the damage that any given censorship can inflict on the project and maximizes the ability for pseudonymous contributors to replace those who have been censored. To address credibility risk, we use phase zero as an opportunity to grow as the set of contributors working on BISC by incentivizing them to earn BSQ through bounties and compensation requests. We make it an explicit exit criteria of phase zero to redistribute enough BSQ from founders to other contributors to fill all bonded contributor roles. 
this redistribution goal will take time and a considerable volume of contributions from non-founders to achieve. This is the primary reason that, as detailed below, in the roadmap section, we estimate that phase zero will take no less than six months to complete. To address solvency risk, we let the current organic growth rate of the exchange continue to play out over the phase zero period. By distribution well-defined units of work to a growing number of contributors, we aim to increase development velocity implementing additional features more quickly and making the BISC exchange that much more attractive to traders, which should in turn increase trading volume and therefore increase trading fee, fee revenue. In any case, we buy ourselves time with phase zero to observe actual growth trends and correct course as necessary to ensure that we are growing in a way that will likely that will like that will be likely to support the level of BSQ demand required to sustain the BISC DAO after phase zero. To address stability risk, we use the phase zero period to thoroughly test the accept the aspects of the BISC DAO that have already been implemented and to implement and test the outstanding aspects that remain. As each aspect is implemented, we put it into use during phase zero, moving from simplistic prototypes, for example, tracking voting by spreadsheet, to trust minimized production ready systems, for example, tracking voting on chain with Bitcoin transactions, and we protect ourselves against critical implementation errors, for example, those that could cause loss of funds by issuing VSQ on Bitcoin testnet during phase zero. Actions. Identify past contributors. In July 2017, we put out a call inviting past contributors to opt in in the initial BSQ distribution. We defined a past contributor to be anyone who had spent at least four hours of their time on improving or supporting the BISC project. We also considered market makers to be past contributors, including in the group anyone with a history of more than 20 trades. Status complete, with 144 past contributors opted in. Distribute BSQ to past contributors. On October 6, 2017, we distributed 25 testnet bitcoins to 144 past contributors across 180 BSQ addresses in the initial test BSQ generous distribution. This action marks the inception of phase zero. Status complete. Define and communicate the phase zero plan. In addition to writing and publishing this document, we have also been engaging in outreach via talks, podcasts, and other media to ensure that, the, that potential contributors are aware of the BISC DAO and phase zero plan to see this Twitter thread for a list of these resources. Status in progress. Define bounty issues. A bounty is a well-defined unit of work that potentially any contributor, especially new ones, can work on with as little prior context as possible. We post bounties in the form of issued labeled BSQ bounty in repositories throughout the BISC network GitHub organization. Initially, we post these bounties with a set price in BSQ. As quickly thereafter as possible, we move to an open price bounty model in which contributors specify a request amount of BSQ when submitting compensation requests. 
this approach is consistent with our overall decentralization goals and more importantly, create a desirable set of incentives for contributors to determine what they believe to be a fair price of work, requiring them to ask around, look through prior contribution requests, and to generally do their homework as, that, as to what work is worth when contributing to BISC. Ultimately, the open price bounty model is intended to foster a marketplace among contributors doing work and stakeholders voting on that work such as that a market price for BISC work is discovered. Completed work for a bounty is whenever appropriate, submitted it as a GitHub pull request. We follow a C4-based process in which each repository in the BISC network GitHub organization has one or more designated maintainers responsible for merging or rejecting pull requests. Merged pull requests do not imply or guarantee in any way that the contributor will be compensated in BSQ for their work, compensation requests are managed separately from pull requests. Status pending. See this GitHub issue for details. Define bond contributor roles. We en enumerate and define the roles necessary to operate, maintain, and administrate the BISC project. BISC Network and BISC DAO, such that responsibility can be transferred from founder to other reputable contributors. And because each of these roles requires a degree of trust, filing the most requires putting up a BSQ bond. Initially, founders will use their BSQ stake to bond into these roles and will then transfer those roles to contributors who A, wish to take the roles over and B, have earned sufficient BSQ to do so. Status in progress. Each role has been enumerated in form of a GitHub issue in the BISC network role repository. And we continue to add and modify these roles as appropriate. Bonding is not yet in place for any role. Establish and refine the fair market value of the BSQ token. Given that BSQ trading is prohibited during phase zero, it is not possible for normal market forces to discover a price for the BSQ token. Still, an estimated price for BSQ is required in order to compensate contributors and we call this estimated price the fair market value of BSQ, borrowing a term from traditional valuation process. Presently, we are working with a valuation of one, is one BSQ equaling one US dollar. As phase zero progresses, we expect this estimate and the model behind it to evolve. With the, global, with the goal of arriving at a maximum credibility fair market value of BSQ by the completion of phase zero. As mentioned in the risk management section above, the process should, significant, should significantly mitigate valuation risk when BSQ goes live on Bitcoin mainnet. The status ongoing. Submit compensation requests and other proposals throughout each month. Status ongoing. As of October 2017, all contributions uh, should be captured in one or more compensation request. See the contributor use cases for details. Vote on the first three days of each month. On the first three days of each month, stakeholders vote on, contributor, on contribution requests and other proposals that have been submitted throughout the previous month. Status ongoing. Distributors distribute responsibility from founders to bonded contributors' roles. Initially, founders use their BSQ stake to assume all bonded contributor roles, reflecting the fact that they do already 
have all the keys and do already carry out most of these duties. As contributors earn sufficient BSQ for bonding, they can approach founders and request to take these roles over. Contributors have a twofold incentive to do so. One, the BSQ they earn by carrying out these duties of the role, and two, the interest they earn on the BSQ bond over time. Status in progress. Founders are distributing responsibility to contributors by having them take on bonded contributor, contributors' roles. By bonding itself is not yet in place. We may not be and may not until BSQ goes live. We are still sorting out exactly how to handle this during phase zero. Grow exchange volume organically. We keep marketing to a minimum during phase zero period and observe whether our current growth trend continue to play out on its own. Rather than focusing on growing our user base, we now focus on growing our contributor base. The goal is to foster continued organic growth by making BISC ever more useful and relevant. In any case, we will track the growth trend and adjust course as necessary should it change. Status in progress. Techniques. Prohibit BSQ trading and spending. We prohibit buying, selling, and spending BSQ tokens during phase zero in three ways. One, by issuing on testnet and rendering their underlying Bitcoin value worthless. Two, by disabling BSQ trading and spending functionality in the BISC application. Three, by reissuing a new testnet genesis distribution at the start of every month. As a result, BSQ utility is limited to earning, voting, and bonding during phase zero. See the risk mitigation section for the rationale. A note to past contributors. When you register as a past contributor, you provide BISC's founders with a mainnet BSQ address. As part of the testnet genesis distribution, we have generated a testnet BSQ address on behalf and correlated it with the mainnet address you've already given us. Track, stake, voting, and bonding via spreadsheets. At the beginning of phase zero, we use simplistic, high-trust systems such as spreadsheets to track BSQ stake, voting and bonding, and we issue BSQ on Bitcoin testnet and not mainnet. These are pragmatic decisions designed to allow our small team to move quickly, iterate towards a trust-minimized, production-ready solution. Note that on-chain systems that will replace these spreadsheets have already been designed and to a certain degree already implemented. We will mitigate to them as they become readily ready. In the meantime, spreadsheets are easy for everyone to understand and easy to change as we learn through practice what is really means to operate the BISC DAO. See Vote on Compensation Requests for instructions. Submit compensation requests as a GitHub issue. Eventually, compensation requests will be modeled across Bitcoin transactions. As phase zero begins, however, they are modeled as GitHub issues in the BISC network slash compensation repository. See Submit a Compensation Request for instructions. Principles. Avoid contentious voting. Any conceivable change to the BISC DAO can be submitted as a proposal and any proposal can be put to a vote. With that said, the goal should be voted as infrequently as possible. Where good proposals are submitted 
and rough consensus is achieved, no vote is necessary. If rough consensus is not achieved, then further work is necessary to either improve the proposal or to change minds about it. Voting on a contentious proposal should be seen as a last resort, after all attempts to achieve consensus have failed. With the, expect with the exception of compensation requests, which must be voted on in order for BSQ to be issued, Voting should be regarded as a crude tool to be used only when absolutely necessary. Keep it meritocratic. The BISC DAO is founded as a meritocracy, and we believe that it is critical to the long-term success of the project that it remains one. Whenever submitting or voting on a proposal to change the way the DAO works, Look closely for unintended consequences that may negatively impact the meritocratic foundation. Work on what you want. It is not required to work on existing bounty issues to contribute to BISC, and no one is here to tell you what to do. Contributors who have their own ideas are free to work in their own forks on whatever they wish however they wish, and without any permission from BISC stakeholders. With that said, it's a good idea to consult with stakeholders via the BISC forum, mailing list, and other communication channels before setting out on any serious contribution efforts. Do this in order to ensure your contribution is, number one, something that the relevant maintainers would be likely to merge. Two, something that stakeholders would likely vote to approve as a compensation request. Three, subject to as much feedback as possible while still an idea and thus cheap to charge or abort. Remember, every contributor is free to work on what they want including maintainers who may or may not want to review and merge your pull request if they don't have any prior context for it, or reason to believe it's worth spending their time on. Exit criteria. The following criteria must be fulfilled in order to, fa to exit phase zero. One, key DAO features have been implemented including compensation request, voting, and bonding. See the BISC Network Exchange GitHub. All bonded contributors' roles are filled. Three, no one contributor plays more than three bonded roles. Four, to be determined, specific volume growth target over or trend. And fifth, to be determined, specific BSQ fair market value target or trend. Roadmap. Inception. Phase zero began on October 6, 2017 with the distribution of 25 testnet bitcoins to 144 past contributors in the initial testnet BSQ Genesis distribution. Duration. Phase zero is expected to last at least six months. We estimate this to be the minimum amount of time necessary for contributors to earn enough BSQ to fill all bonded roles. Completion. When the exit criteria of phase zero has been met, a vote will be put to stakeholders whether to complete the phase by A, issuing the official Genesis distribution of BSQ on Bitcoin mainnet, and B, releasing a version of BISC that enables BSQ trading, BSQ trading fee payment, and all other DAO use cases. Pierce, this was part two of the phase zero white paper of the BISC decentralized exchange. Thank you very much for joining me and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.